Wow. That is an impressive school there. Welcome to Dan's on the Street. I am Dan. I'm exploring the whole world city by city as seen through Google Maps and Google Street View. And today I'm back in Pakistan, visiting the city of Peshawar up here in the north, not too far from the border with Afghanistan there. Actually, not far at all. This is an ancient city. People have been living here for millennia. And I'm excited to explore this a bit. I think this is my second stop in uh, Pakistan. Now, unfortunately, the city is not very well mapped. So we are going to have to get by with what we can. Clearly, here is kind of the old city. And that, that portion looks like it's particularly um, poorly mapped. So, you know, we'll get by. But let's start out maybe somewhere not too far away from there. But over here, we'll go down on oh, Main Street. Let's get on the ground. All right, immediately greeted with an interesting scene here. Look at this, lots of activity. Looks like a bunch of stores here, little taxi vehicles here, three wheel things, a bunch of motorcycles and scooters. What a mixture of vehicles actually. Very lively scene, a bunch of people out and about. Let's move down the street just a little bit. Getting a little motion blur as we're cruising by here. All kinds of shops. Some of, like apartment buildings, maybe five or six stories at most in this part. New place going up there. Um, let's see, which way do we come from? Getting a little disoriented by this movement here. Just taking this scene a little bit. About just under two million people live here in Peshawar. About four million in the metropolitan area, but pretty large, pretty significant size. Actually, the sixth largest city in Pakistan. Love to walk into some of these stores, a jewelry place. Maybe that, maybe I wouldn't go in a jewelry place. Let's be honest. But um, Sheen, maybe you know, clothing, anything like that. I'd love to check that out. And I'm certain I would be in all of these. Ooh, London Book Company, going there. All of the uh, eateries. This is definitely a jewelry district here. Well, I don't know what's going on with these maps. Again, it's a it's a true shame here that it's not fully street view mapped, but I expect someday they'll get here. It, it's gonna happen. Let's move up here. Again, a little, a little north of the old city. Ah, Peshawar Museum. Looks like we can drop outside there. Lots of old buildings in here. I don't think we're, we have a great view. I think it's behind this tree. <laughs> um, but that's definitely an old structure I was reading about a little bit. Interesting. People just relaxing here. Love these trees. Look like there's another picture over by that museum, or perhaps in the museum. This was built back in the 1800s, I was reading. Oh wow, look at this, we're actually inside. Oh my goodness, what a structure this is. Very impressive. Certainly a place I would visit. I love, love museums. Um, interesting, governor's house, yeah, clearly. I can tell that has that look. Um, huh, all right, just reading some of these signs here. Let's pull up again here. Again, what a pity we can't really get into the old town, but where we can, let's do it. Looks like there's a few uh, dots here. Let's check this out. Oh, wow, okay, great, great view here. Kind of a bunch of backs of buildings here, unfortunately, though. A uh, beautiful sunset out there, it looks like. Maybe sunrise, yeah, sunrise. Um, oh no, that's west. Interesting. No major high rises, at least from, from this view I'm seeing, but uh, plenty of pretty good sized apartments. Residences. We have some taller buildings over here. There's a mosque back there, I think. Pretty neat. It's very dense in here. The city used to have walls, I was reading, back up until as recent as like the 1950s, they were finally taken out. You can kind of 
guess where they might be. See this road out there? That'd be my guess. Some of the old city walls were, but not quite sure. Let's see, is there another scene we can see? I've dropped down next to these guys. We're in some kind of, uh... A neat cafe, though. Love this wall decoration. It's pretty interesting. One more view up here, maybe? Let's see. Ah, maybe not. Okay, let's try something else. All kinds of amazing shops all in there. What a pity we can't see them. Big golf course up here a little north. Oh, I can play cricket here. Nice park. Another mosque there. The Peshawar Grains Go Down. It's an interesting name. Um, let's drop into... Looks like this is clearly a major highway kind of cutting the city here. Sitting on top of a vehicle. Just look around a little bit. Bright day out. Bunch of people on motorcycles. Double occupancy. Some script there. The main languages here I read are Pashto, Hinko, and Urdu. I'm not sure what I'm looking at there. I would have just guessed Arabic, or I don't really know. And perhaps it is. Um, I am not too good with my languages, <laughs> I'm afraid. Let's try out another view along this same highway here. There we go, give it a second. Ooh, triple occupancy, nice. Um, interesting scenes here. Looks like it's well paved, concrete. Tons of shops here, cell phones, a hotel back there. Sunrise Hotel. Interesting. Huh. Pretty great views. It's the city's history I was reading dates back to at least to 539 BC. Oh goodness, look at this. We're up in some really ancient building in here. This is neat. Wow, this is really neat. This must be um I'm I'm not I didn't get a good look at it. I was gonna guess it was an old mosque, but I'm not I'm not sure here. Interesting central display feature there. I'm not sure what that would have been back in the day. Old fountain maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> that was really neat in there. Looks like a big school here, government girls, higher secondary school. Okay. The Kalyan Bazaar. Ah, here's a I read about this clock tower. That was built in the eighteen hundreds too. Um, all right, let's pull up here. Let's see something else. Saw a little bit over here. I just want to make sure we get a, some small sense of this old part of town before we start expanding outwards. And don't worry, we're going we're gonna to take our time and expand out. Looks like we're in someone's a shop or... Yeah, it looks like a shop, I think. Interesting. Maybe a residence. Actually, sorry, I'm sorry. It's a residence. Um... Huh. Interesting scene. Very different. I'd love to walk through these old streets there. That'd be that'd be a great time. Alright, let's pull up here a little bit. Again, maybe a little a little ways up north here. Plenty of people living out in this part of uh, Peshawar. Nice restaurant out here. How pretty is this? What a nice evening scene. Great lighting. Look at that tree, it's really nicely lit and everything. Nice fencing even. It's a great looking place, looks like a restaurant up here. Must be part of this, uh... I'm not sure. Looks like another nighttime view. Yeah, this is great. Little fountain here in the middle. Oh, looks like there's a Ferris wheel there. Oh yeah, Funland Family Park. Okay, right. good times. Something to do with the family. Always like seeing that. Let's move a little further up here to the right. How about somewhere kind of up in these parts? Another street view here. This is great. Alright, this street, not as well paved, of course. Well, not really paved at all, I suppose. 
Looks like a canal way goes down here. Some guys working over there. Interesting scene. Well, everyone has these kind of garage door style storefronts. Selling some cell phones, that kind of thing up there. Interesting. Very different than uh, some places I've been recently. This is good to see. Golf course. Do we want to see this golf course? I'm going to guess it looks like a golf course. And it does. All right. Still kind of need to see. This grass doesn't look quite as green as it did from the air, but it must be the time of year here. We're looking at January. That must be it. Um, much more green view there. Let's go over to this main highway here. Another one of these. And see some more. Some more highway views at least. Definitely some traffic out. Look at this store here. This is pretty great. All these... Not sure what those four... Interesting decorations or something. Definitely densely packed here. Some good traffic out. With two million people, I mean, that sounds right. Samsung, all kinds of shopping everywhere you go here. Stuff to buy. Some street food. Hmm, air conditioning. Oh yeah, that's going to be a concern. Huh. All right. Interesting. Home Economics College. Lots of like really great developments you can tell from above. Like I just like this whole... The work that went into laying this portion of the city out. Ah, oh, it's the engineering school. All right. Or at least that's part of it. Islamia College. I want to see this. I was reading about this. This is another... Kind of great old building. I saw a picture of it. Stop out front in the cricket ground here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow. That is an impressive school there. Huh. This university was founded back in 1913. Interesting. Very important school for the, the city, and I think the country as a whole. Lots of history there. Let's get one more view of that, maybe. Maybe back in this courtyard. Oh, fantastic. Very impressive place. Great structure. Can actually move around here a little bit, looks like. Nicely gardened and everything. This is really nice. Huh. Yeah, that'd be... Pretty neat place to go to school. What a space. Um, Alright, let's see some more. That was great. Let's try... Well, it looks like we can kind of zoom down this whole portion of the highway. I don't want to show too much highway. We, we've all been on highways, but it's still kind of valuable to see other people's experiences of what a highway looks like for them. Let's keep cruising along here. Yeah, as I was saying, its history dates back to at least 539 BC. And it was a small village early. And Alexander the Great conquered the region during his invasion of India in 327 BC. And then it changed, it changed hands many times in ancient history, I was reading. All different empires held it for periods of years to decades to longer. Uh, the Marian Empire held it. The Greeks held it. The Indo-Parthian Kingdom held it. The Kushan Empire held it. Um, it. It just changed hands a bunch back in those, back in the era. Interesting scene here. It's like a new highway built. New overpass there. Lots of new construction through here. This camera is a little wonky here. Maybe we'll pop out of that. 
PSO filling station. This is quite the development. Oh, look at this. This portion. Now we're pretty far east of the old city here. But Hyderabad. This is definitely still part of the city. Let's check out some of these streets. Now this is what I like to see. Lots of 3D maps. Actually, you know what? Despite saying that, I think we just fell in someone's personal picture again. Let's try that one more time. Ah, that's... There we go. This is the dream. Full street view. It's my favorite. Looks like pretty nice homes through here. This is all pretty new development. Somewhat new, at least. Everything very gated up in here. Fenced in, gated, and so forth. But it looked like nice big homes. Certainly. Back when the, uh, so the Kushan Empire held the city and the region in the first century. And um, its population at that time was around 120,000, they estimate. Which, if true, that would that would have made it like the seventh the seventh largest city in the world back at that point. 120,000 people. That's I mean that's really impressive for uh, whatever the first century. And let's get another view maybe down this portion of it. Ooh. Oh, how how do we? What's going on here? We fell into the similar photo again here. Forgive me. Ah, this is the one I want. I'm not sure what's happening. Um, these really are nice homes in here. Definitely, it's got to be a more expensive part of town. Huh. Now, when the Kushan Empire held the city, its ruler, at least in the region, was Kanishka. And he was Buddhist, so this would have been a major Buddhist city at that time. And I was reading they had many relics here that were kept at uh, the various monasteries and so forth. Oh, interesting evening views here. Nice places though, look at that balcony up there. That's nice. Maybe a new building going in this. You can see there's a few blank spaces yet. A good number. If you want to develop a house, I'm sure you could. Kids out, nice evening walk. Great distant mountains over there. It's a really beautiful terrain in this part of the world. Look at that. It's got a good amount of green nearby, but also these huge, like, deserty mountains. Look at that. Towering over the city. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people, who, if they live in Peshawar, uh, do a lot of hiking, and I, I certainly hope so, at least. Great outdoors here. All right, let's see some more. Let's go down along this highway here, maybe. Peshawar Ring Road, okay. That makes sense. Let's cruise back this way. Another new development there on our right. Thanks to beautiful Pakistan for uploading these pictures. Although sometimes, what's going on again? Okay, back up, back up. Where should we go next? What a pity that we can't see the, all the rest of it. I, I just keep... I, anytime I visit a city where I can't see all of it on the streets, I, it gets me down. But we're going to still see more. Don't worry. Another highway scene. I can't leave them. There's at least a lot of imagery from the highways. Bright yellow construction vehicles there. Wow, look at this vehicle. Stacked high here. With people and luggage, maybe? I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Maybe it's just full of people. That's a neat sight. 
Beautiful light coming in here. Hino Peshawar. Let's keep cruising down the street if we can. Okay, there we go. Back to its uh, history then. So the next uh, power that took the city was the White Huns. They destroyed much of the city, unfortunately, as they took the region in 430 AD. And I was reading about one interesting ancient feature here, which was this stupa, which is a, a Buddhist uh, temple, or I'm not sure, a grave, I'm not quite sure. Um, but it was really large here at the time. And I was reading that when the White Huns took the city, they didn't destroy it. They actually kind of built it up even higher. And it was really well known for it being like one of the tallest buildings in the world at that time. Uh, some people claiming it was in the like above 500 feet, but today they, they think it was around 400. But that would have been just unimaginably high and impressive back in that time. Bit of a mess there on the side of the road, but... Uh, interesting buildings here. Looks like they're tearing down one there. This guy hailing a taxi, maybe? Uh, or just waving to us. Definitely a bunch of people out and about. Busy, busy place. vehicles there on the right. Seen better days, some of those, I think. Definitely a mixture of vehicles, some newer stuff. Seen some Hondas, that kind of thing, as well as a bunch of vehicles that are unfamiliar to me. Huge truck there on our left. Love driving into the sunlight. I know we're going against traffic, but it just, <laughs> this light's so beautiful. I guess we should see what it looks like this way. Oh, also nice. All right, let's pop up. That was cool. Okay, let's see. Let's go by this part here. It looks like there's a diocese here, Catholic Church. Huh, livestock being used. That's the first I've seen of that here in the city, I think. Big highway above us here, and then some more local traveling underneath. Huh. Ah, another dead end here. We can head this way, it looks like. While I have your attention, if you'd like to support me in the channel in any way, definitely subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And if, uh, if you really want to support me, I got a Patreon page. It's a dollar to join and you have access to a bunch of bonus materials, bonus tours I went on. That's mainly what I'm doing over there. Been to a number of cities and I'll keep keep building that library. Subscriber only. And it's a dollar, think about it. Um, all right, all right. We gotta find some more stuff here because I'm just not getting the full experience so I have to get creative. Let's see. Looks like a neat view over here. Oh, this is really very neat. We're on like an old wall here. I like the shot of this guy walking along there. What a cool picture, actually. Isn't that a... That's a neat frame. Um, farming all around. Definitely a big farming region. Another neat image here. This is great. I should like print that out for that family. That's awesome. It looks so epic. That's marvelous. Huh. Yeah, as you can see, tons of farmland all around here. That's clearly a big part of the economy. Let's see some more stuff. Up by this college here, looks like there's an image in a store. Not sure if we want to see that. 
Possibly. Generally, I try to stay outside. Nice view here. This guy's fishing. Look at that. Wonder if they're catching anything today. Very peaceful scene down there. Wonder where that river is. It must be, must be there, yeah. Very nice. Here's the airport. Looks like we can drop in a place over here nearby. Another car scene. My favorite. Um, pretty generic looking office buildings around us here. Pretty gray, but plenty of trees again. I'm very, I'm very impressed with how many like trees there are. Look at this airport. This can't be right. <laughs> I think this is a photo, you know, this is like an error in the photo stitching or something. That is the funniest thing. Look at that. It's so crooked. It can't pop. That's so weird. That can't be right. Maybe it's hilly. Maybe we're getting like a perspective thing there. I guess that's possible. Oh, maybe it is on a hill. All right. That might be the effect we're seeing there. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of funny. Here's an image over here. Oh, nice. Okay. A little park. More residences, apartments. Great place for kids to come out. Nice old rides. Some of these are very, I feel like, familiar. I think we had the same ride, or whatever, playground equipment in my elementary school. I remember that bug. Um, kids out having a great time. I love that you see that scene anywhere in the world. You put a slide up. Kids love that stuff. I love it. I like the spiral staircases there too. That was kind of cool. Gantara University. All right, let's drop by near there. Kind of an alley scene here. Maybe not an alley. Maybe, maybe this is the main road. But walled in on the right. Can we move down this street just a little bit? Back to its history. History. So after the after the Huns destroyed the city, the size of it really shrank down. It was down to about a thousand families living in the ruins. Very small, you think from 120,000 people. And uh, so wasn't doing too well. Later in the in the late seventh century, Islam was then in introduced to the region to the Buddhists and the Zoroastrians who were here at that time. And eventually I was reading the, I'm gonna say it wrong, Gajnavad Empire under Mahmud Ghajni took the city in 1001 AD. Here's a little backyard scene. Hey, this looks pretty nice. Like this little, little park they got going in here. Looks like some guys going to class, maybe. Technical educational training. Okay, all right. Oh, model, model, model Montessori. <laughs> all right. I want to see more of this old town. Oh, well, this is an interesting view. Definitely some old, old streets. Look at this. Picture the carts that went up and down these with horses and stuff. Actually, some really nice features on some of these buildings here. Again, amazing light. Look at this gateway. Wow. It's beautiful. Flowering vine, bush, whatever. Um, my goodness, that is lovely. Oh, I really like this scene here a lot. This old door. It's got that smaller door inset. This one too, I guess. Fantastic, I love that beauty. So glad somebody uploaded that. Um, it must have been... There's another nearby view. Oh, same place. I'm sorry. Well, we saw it again. Yeah, it's very nice. 
All right. I want to see. So a little bit of that. Oh. I guess we saw in there. Is there anything else worth seeing around here? Well, most of the city that's worth seeing is in here, I'm sure. Ah, oh, what a pity we can't get in there. What a pity. That's where we were over there. Okay. Kind of further out here. Get some more countryside scenes. Ah, oh, farming out here. What are they doing here? This is really neat. Oh, they're laying out like a patio with this broken stone. That's so cool. Really nice work. I'd love to see what that looks like finished. Kids playing. I think we're on top of a roof here. Maybe. Yeah. How about that? That's so cool. What a, wow, what a cool view. I, somewhere in there. Oh, so much to see and so little we can see. That, that really hurts. Let's go a little further outside the city again. Beautiful light again. How nice is this? Farming out here. Is that a graveyard? Maybe. I always find them. <laughs> um, that's neat. Look at these old vehicles. Some older stuff there. Newer stuff being driven. Looks like these are kind of just parked here, maybe. Beautiful light there. down this road down here. Not the best views, but get a small sense of this. Ah, again, we can't move around. If this is your first video of mine you're watching, <laughs> I swear it usually goes a little bit smoother. But what can you do? We roll with it. We roll with it. Another angled view. Something wrong with... I complimented beautiful Pakistan, but there's something wrong with their pictures here. <laughs> they don't connect to one another. You can you can follow them around very well. Looks like a little intersection here. Uh, yeah. All right. Let us pull up. Find something else. Canal town. Oh yeah, there's that canal. Oh, look at these chickens. Wow, all right. <laughs> nice. Are roosters? I'm not, I'm not sure. It's a chicken. Um, hmm. Back to his history. So, uh, if you've lost it, the Gaj Gajnavid Empire held the city. And they held it for a while. And again, then it changed hands several times in quick succession. Um, oh, this is a nice view down the street. The Muggles took the city in 1526. It was a major trading center by this point. A lot of beautiful buildings built around that time. The Duranis took the city in 1747. And uh, during that time, the Afghan kings spent their winters here, so they'd come over. I'm not sure what the scale of Afghanistan was at the time. Um, but it expanded out as far as here, for sure. Let's follow these guys here. Oh, OK. 
Okay. A lot quieter this part of town. At least today. Such random perspective we've, we've gotten here. This has got to be the most haphazard tour of the city anyone's ever given. If there's an award for that, I think I've won it. Um, <laughs> let's see a little bit north of city. Uh, here's a random view far north. Car out here. Lots of dirt. Looks like a bunch of work being done out here. Stone brickwork, I mean. Interesting. Oh, another great view. A dad and his kid, maybe. Interesting buildings all up in there. This big old foundation almost looks like it's ancient. Are we in the site of something ancient here? Or maybe this is just new construction. Something about the way that's laid out there feels old. Not quite sure where we were in there. Oh, I guess far up. Ooh, even further up here. Pretty scene. Some orchard of some sort up here. Growing. Let's drop in by this University of Agriculture. Nice big campus. Really nice campus. Wow, look at that building. Bunch of people out going around. Huh. Back to its history again. So the Sikhs then invaded the city in 1818 and captured the city. Which that seems kind of recent, doesn't that? Oh, beautiful light. We're really wandering all around. Really nice gardens in here. Well manicured, well cared for. And then, um, so then the British East India Company took the city and the region around 1857. Kids out on bikes, just enjoying the evening drive. Huh. But yeah, I was reading that a lot of great buildings were built during that era um, of, I'm sure, a difficult time for the country. But a lot, a lot of the buildings that are really impressive, um, like that museum, a good number were built during that period, late 1800s, early 1900s. And then finally, in 1947, Peshawar became part of the newly created state of Pakistan. Guys out playing soccer, kids just watching. Boy, that, that looks like a good time. I'd love to join them. Not very good at soccer, but I... That was the sport I played when I was a kid, so... Maybe I still have a little muscle memory left? It's possible it's gone. Uh, let's get another view up here. Pakistani fund for something? Are accepted here, okay. Bunch of vehicles parked up here. I was also reading that, of course, many Afghan refugees came to the city and um, during the Soviet-Afghan war in the 80s, and I imagine, again, back in the early 2000s when the U.S. invaded Afghanistan. Maybe to a lesser extent, I'm not sure. Let us pop up one more time. We're going to have to wrap this up pretty soon. I'm, I'm going quite long. I, I feel no ur urgency. It's something about like not having good views of the city. I'm like feeling extra <laughs> rebellious with my usual. I, I try to usually keep this to about 30 minutes. And it just, it just doesn't seem like it matters right now. Because I just want to see more. 
Oh, I've already seen that one. Imperial Marquee Wedding Hall. Oh. You can definitely like get a little sense of some of the stuff here. Despite not having great ground images. It's like a mosque here. Oh, okay. Nighttime view here. Oh, this is very nice. Just out in the open, it looks like. You know, no roof or whatever in this portion of the building. Fans out. Great flooring in here. Very impressive stonework. Kantiki. There's one thing I wanted to check out that made me think of is the uh, Mahabat. Let's check this out. Okay. Yeah, there we go. This mosque here was built in 1670, completed in 1670. So, very old. Very impressive that it's still standing here, and my goodness, what a sight that is. Look at that. 1670. Very pretty. All the detail, the repeated patterns. Big minarets. All completed here in white marble. Actually, it looks like it could be cleaned up. Or, you know, if they chose to clean it up, it would probably get, like, sparkling white. Which, that'd be pretty neat to see. Um, maybe they like kind of the, the weathered look. Oh, here we are in, indoors now. My goodness, look at this detail. Wow. Wow. Amazing patterns through here. Very impressive. Love it. All right. Well, again, th this is a particularly... Oh, while we're here, this is the fortress. Yeah, I wanted to see this too. Um, people have been using this spot as a fortress. I was reading. Wow. Going, there's like a hill here, you can't quite tell it, but pretty quickly in the ancient history they realized that this hill would be valuable as a place of fortress, and so many fortresses existed here over the centuries and millennia, and um, they kind of were built on top of each other, one was destroyed and then another built, so I think a lot of what we're looking at was built around 1834, but Parts are much more ancient, I believe. You can see that structure. How oh, impressive. And I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure the city walls, again, were either just outside of that or just inside of that, maybe back here. Interesting. Well, again, <laughs> I'm going to say this counts, but this, this really... I, normally, I really would have need to see more of the city but I'm gonna still say I saw what I could given my limitations I, uh, I, I got a small experience of what that was like and it's pretty cool it's pretty cool to see um, for now it's gonna be on my map and uh, if there's anywhere else you'd like me to check out let me know in the comments there it is if you enjoyed this I think I had a slightly better tour of Karachi um, I think there were just more pictures and I'll get back to this part of the world again soon. I, I, I want to go to Afghanistan soon, but it, it suffers the same uh, street view issue you can see there. Just not a lot of not a lot of places I can really check out properly. So, but I'll be back. I promise. Uh, Till next time.